Covington, Kentucky. I'm taking a little walk. And I thought that I would bring you along with me. See what we can see. See if anything looks good. There's the library right behind us. There's a statue of Abraham Lincoln over there. That was young Abraham Lincoln. He was holding a book. That's because he's smart. And, uh, over there. His recipe. I used to work right over there. And I'll show you when we get a little bit closer. I used to work over there and uh, he used to have a special on Fridays where we would go and eat chicken. No, it wasn't on Fridays, it was on Wednesday. My bad. Oh my gosh, I worked over here for so many years. And now they are totally redoing the whole area here. It's crazy. It was not the best neighborhood when I worked here. No, it sure was not. I saw some crazy things over here. Across the street over here. Wait for this car to come so I don't get smushed. Alright, I'm not going to get smushed. Across this street over here. And then cross another street. And this over here. The street I'm crossing now. Well, now that I'm crossing it, this street here. I saw a guy, naked guy, just laying in the middle of the street one day. Not sure what his deal was, but it either has something to do with over medication or self medication or not taking the right medication, is what I'm thinking. It had something to do with. Whew, thank gosh I got behind this building where it's not quite as uh, bright. The sun's really great today. It's a nice evening. The wind's kind of blowing. It's not too hot, not too cold. There's a really cool over here. Let's run right over here and check out the Oh, there's a dog. Okay. It always makes me happy when I see a dog. Let's so go over here and check out this mural. Lots of sunflowers. This building, I don't know if it still is, but it used to be the homeless shelter. Well, it was a night shelter. Uh, they let people go in there, homeless people go in there and sleep at, during the night. And this empty spot next to me, this was kind of a very interesting thing. And it was, it was around until just a few years ago. It was the city stable. And there were horses that lived in there up, just up till a few years ago. I mean, when I still worked over here on 7th Street, which was, oh my gosh, I don't know how many years ago that was. I'll have to think about it. I've been looking at home now for two and a half years. And for about two, no, I don't even remember. Ah, 2011, I do remember, because I just had my Facebook. It just popped up on my Facebook memory. 2011 was the last time I worked, oh gosh. So somewhere between 11 and 19 years ago, they still had horses over there in the city stable. Over here's a new store called Stitch Yarn Studio. Huh. Now, when I was still working over here, that was an organic um, plant place. So if you wanted to do plants that were organic or something like that, you would, that's where you would go. They had lots of lighting and irrigation systems. That was pretty cool. Over here is the parking lot that I parked in every day for many, many years. I always parked on the third floor because I worked on the third floor. So I always say I park on the third floor and I work on the third floor so that way I don't get confused. Park on the third floor, park on the third floor. Over there is the, it's the Board of Education building. I'm surprised they don't move it. They said Covington's kind of starting to get a little bougie. And see, when I worked here, it was the opposite of bougie. Now, this is where I used to work. There's a, those steps over there. That's what I used to refer to as the sun deck. And I used to spend my lunches out there. And that's where I would 
back in the day when I still smoked cigarettes, which I don't do that anymore. I used to sit out there at lunch and I would smoke cigarettes and drink beverages. And if people went inside and tried to, hello, if my friends went inside and tried to eat lunch, I'd make fun of them. I'd call them eaters because I didn't, I didn't need it. I didn't eat then either. I was, man, I was bad healthy. I, I didn't eat lunch. I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat much at all, honestly. And uh, I smoked. I smoked cigarettes. It was terrible. But I'm healthier now. I eat. You can probably tell by looking at me. Got a little boot there. <laughs> and I do indeed eat. Uh, over there, that's called the Madison. That is a wedding venue. A very fancy and very expensive wedding venue. Now, this here's where I used to work in this building. Right here, up on the second, third floor set of windows. That was my office. And now, it is the Hotel Covington. Hotel Covington. And it's a very, very bougie hotel. Which is crazy, because when I worked there, it was full of bed bugs and rats and rodents. There is... A restaurant here now called Agave and Rye. And again, gosh, before it was Agave and Rye, I don't remember what it was before it was Agave and Rye. But I remember when I was a little, little kid, it was a place called Wigs, and it was so scary. My dad took me here one time, and uh, yeah, I was terrified. I remember my mom asked me, what did you think of the restaurant your dad took you to? And I said, it was scary. Everybody looked at me like, Rrr. <laughs> She still talks about that, and she finds it quite humorous. <laughs> I gotta say, I thought it was kind of funny when I was walking over here. A lot of people were <laughs> at Agave and Rye stopped to look at me while I was talking to myself <laughs> while I was walking down the street. Uh, that's all right. Oh, it's shut. This was always really cool. It's like a little shortcut to Pike Street. This is 7th Street, Ron. This is Pike Street. It was a nice little shortcut. Oh, look at this sign. Oh, wow. That is freaking cool. I like that a lot. I hope you can see it. I can't see what I'm looking at, but I'm, I'm sure it's really cool. <laughs> that used to be a Goodwill back in the day. I told you this used to be not the best neighborhood. And a good one. There was a homeless shelter, and the homeless shelters, good wheels. And I worked at the food stamp office, so yeah. Not the best neighborhood this used to be. But now, it's like there's all kinds of new stuff popping up. I haven't worked down here. I mean, I stopped being an everyday worker in 2011. And then I was a trainer for a couple years after that. And after I was a trainer, I became a reviewer. And so 2013, I went back to Kenton County, but we had moved buildings. So I wasn't in that building. I was in a totally different building. Yeah, the building kind of fell apart and uh, the ceiling started falling apart. And uh, yeah. They called the, our new clerical supervisor, he called the uh, fire department when ceilings started falling in and the building was condemned. And now it's a fancy hotel. Isn't that crazy? But uh, yeah. And the scary, the sad thing is that guy that was the clerical supervisor, they fired him. Well, they said it wasn't because he called the fire department, but I don't believe him. They said he didn't pass probation, but I don't believe him because that's not the first time chunks of the ceiling fell down. And we were, the fire department was never called before. So, whatever. I thought he was a nice guy, and I thought it was really sad that they terminated him due to that. That's crazy. I'm almost to where I'm going. Let's 
side of this church. I'm gonna head over to this church. I thought maybe I'd uh, make a little video of the church. Oh, goodness. Nice long walk. Up here's an old fire department. It used to be a restaurant, but you can kind of see it up there. I'll get you a better look at it when we get up closer. But it used to be a restaurant. It used to be a nice restaurant, but I don't remember. Not nice, nice. Like, I don't want to say bar food, but kind of fancy or bar food made fancy. I guess that would be a good way to put it. Bar food made fancy. Over there, there's some more murals over yonder. I love the murals in this city. Five free throws, huh? I kind of want to throw an axe. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking I might want to go five, two, five, three, th bleh. who can talk? Sure, five no, free throws. <laughs> Should we do that? Let's check it out.